Fish on, guys. Net this guy so we can identify it. Jen, you're my net lady. He's a shiny dude. Here it is behind you. Yes! He's a hatchery Chinook. Yeah. He's a Jack. Yeah. But we can keep Jack. Yeah. That's a minimum of 30. Yeah. Nice one! Dude, high five! Oh, yeah. Good one! <laughs> Are you going to keep him? Yeah, let's keep yeah. him. He's tiny enough for me to carry. <laughs> that is awesome! <laughs> My first keeper, Jack! Nice! <laughs> See, you're going to outfish us all. No, dude. No, dude. That is awesome! Oh, God! Come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Oh wow, right there off the lip. We need a rock pool, guys. That row is only a week old. Maybe that's why. drifting today I already got one fish at first light we're here at the better so hopefully we can get another one um, yeah so about top two feet seems to be working right now I'm just gonna keep walking down about a foot to the right every few casts to see if we can get another one I'm running uh, some of this pink row from the ocean that I caught and with a little bit of wool. Let's see if we can try it again. Yeah, I'm quite excited guys, I'm back on the river. Nice change of pace and first trip out, I gotta jack shit up. So, as far as the rigs go, you're allowed to keep four fish. And two can be over, as far as she knows, two can be over 62. Or you can have four jacks. Either way, you can only have four fish, so. So the water clarity is pretty clear guys. Daryl was mentioning he likes it a little bit murky. So a lot of people use raw as their first bite. And if that doesn't work, then they start to change it up. So it seems to work because I saw about four fish landed. So let's keep working this column. So yeah, the goal today guys, is to get that coho. So let's see what we get. Oh, this one's kind of a big one. Let's see. So this is pink roe from the ocean. It's a little globby, but it does a little too big. But maybe we'll get a big one yet. I want to fish this little nook where the the boulders turn into sand. Because I believe there's a pocket there. And there's kind of a slow, fast water. Oop. Oh. See, I'm not paying attention. I should have had a better hook set on that. Fish on, guys. As soon as I saw that. This one's not a coho, I don't think. Oh, ho, ho. big glob, big glob. Get the net. <laughs> I got my net over here, guys. Get the net. <laughs> I've been eyeing this guy for a while. I saw him in that little nook. Come over here, guys. There's risers here. Ooh, it's a tank. It's a Chinook. It's a big one. Nice size. Oh, she's a beauty. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Wow, that's a tank. First things first, guys, when you catch an adult chinook that's 62 centimeters and over, uh, you have to write it on your license. So, chinook, region 2, water is the better. And then the year, what's the date today? 
So we're gonna look, it's September 24, 24. That's it, so that's what you write down right there. The Veteran River, Adult Chinook, Region 2, uh, September 24. Okay, so you're allowed 10 of those. So we can only keep two big ones today. So we'll see you guys next week. Oh, you got one? Yeah! Denise, I'm gonna get the net for you. Row for the win, baby. So here's another lady that likes to fish. Yeah, try walking back slowly. Yeah, he's pulling drag on me. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw the slappers over there. Oh. Woo wee! It's right here. Yeah, I'll get a little shallower. Yeah, hey, let me get behind you. Oh, I see it. The struggle is real. Oh, 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 oh. What's she not? Oh. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. He still got it, he still got it. Right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, not ready. There it is. Got it, got it. <laughs> yes! That's a Shinoki! Right on the nose, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I almost fell down. That's a nice size, bud. Right on the tip of the nose. That's a good spot, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How's your heart? My heart's... I can't believe it. I'm glad I didn't go face... I'm glad I didn't go face first on the water there. Amazing. Way to go. Perfect shot, too. Three, two, one. <laughs> so that one now, you're gonna have to measure it. If it's over 62, you're gonna have to write it down. Okay. Way to go, bud. So my setup here, guys, I have uh, two bobber stoppers on each side so I can adjust it. A three quarter ounce weight and a 30 gram DNE float. Okay, and then I got a 20 pound cigar uh, floral going into my hook, my bait loop. Right there. Let's give another shot. Oh! Oh my! You, you jerk! That's what I mean. When you're not paying attention, you lose a half a second. Daryl, you're right, man. The wet stuff. That's where it's at. Oh no! My room! Oh! Oh no! I lost it. Oh, that was the last of it. My last piece of the row floated down 20 feet. <laughs> I had to grab it. Now my whole arm is wet. Yes! Let me get the net. Oh, here we go. All right, guys. Love the teamwork. Yeah! <laughs> hey, awesome. Yeah, nice netting job. Oh, that guy's been haunting you this whole time. Uh, that's awesome! Ooh. Okay, so row's still working. We haven't switched from row. Okay, last cast, I'm gonna switch to a jig. I really wanna try the jig because that worked for Chum. And I'm hoping that little bit of prawn is gonna help. And we're gonna move on into jigging some. So that was really successful for me last year. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's go for a pink one, just so it's similar to row color. Right here, here it is. So the guy last year told me that prawn makes a big difference sometimes. So yeah, the ideal setup, 20 inches from the hook, 
with a pink jig. So let's go add a piece of prime right there. So doesn't have to be fancy. Just pinch it off. So uncured, same as Mr. Dan the Man for Chum. You guys checked out my last video last year on the river. So that's that's all it is. Let's go try it again, see if we can get another one on the first cast. So a lot different than the row because it is heavy. I see a lot of risers there. Those might be all pinks. Let's see if we can get it it's right in the zone there. So you can see him rising. I think I'm another four feet out. I need to be four feet further out into the fast water. But let's see if we can get it. Oh, let's go! Dude, first cast on the shrimp. Dude, I got pink jigs and shrimp, guys. I got tons of shrimp. Just like chum, they like it. I hope it's a... Uh, I hope it's a hoe. Might be a pink. Looks like a pink. Oh, it's a pig. Got a hump. No. Yeah. Well, net it. Let's see. Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. Okay. Anybody want a pig? I'm good. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Neighbor fish. Heck yeah, the shrimp. Oh. So are we uh, letting it go then? Yeah, go ahead. Let her go. Come on, buddy. High five! I I'm like. Awesome I like, yeah. And then he beached himself. What? He didn't go there? Oh, what? He beached himself. Put him back in the water. Oh, that's mine. The whole thing. Oh, come on, guy, get out of here. Oh, he went. He five holed me. There you go. Hey, let's have a group pick before you go. Let me just finish this cast. <laughs> Okay, guys, ready? Three, two. All right. Okay, bud. Thanks. Hi, hi. Be a minute. High five. Okay, who wants some shrimp? Yeah, that was instant hit, guys. I'm hungry. Thank you. <laughs> so where do you get this? Um, Anywhere. So there's a guy that I fished here last time we met him. His name is Dan. You don't put a whole piece on. No, just a chunk. Small chunk. And yeah, don't uh, uncooked. Just yeah. defrost it, don't even bother curing it. No cure. No cure. Oh, natural. All right, guys, we're coming down to the last few casts here. Um, bite slowed down. Yeah. Morning bite is a thing. The fish is still there, but I can tell the bite has turned off. Like, the lips are tightly shut. It's like lunch is over. The famous words, one last bite. Yeah, it gave me a nice idea though, walking in here. So, if the fire ban is lifted, I think I'm gonna bring a fire log with me. Just so we can have a little bit of a uh, nice ambiance while waiting for first light. Okay, I guess that's it. <laughs>